Island's famous Victorian holiday festival returns from December 1st right through December 3rd. I can't believe it is already, already time here. for this again. Here to tell us more about the fun weekend ahead are directors of communications, Leah Cast and Will Wright, along with Her Majesty, Her Highness Queen Victoria we herself. Need to curtsy, I, I think. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Welcome. To all of you. Thank you. <laughs> so you guys have so much going on during this weekend. There's a parade and there's great music. Can you sort of give us an overview of what people can expect, people who haven't been before? What's in store? Sure, it's an opportunity to come down to Galveston and walk through the buildings and the architecture of the time frame of Charles Dickens when he was writing uh, the Christmas stories that we all know so well is uh, what you'll be experiencing and surrounded there in Galveston by. And it's Leah, this is time. such a great event for Galveston. I mean, it's always packed. It's great for the whole family. Um, and this is going to be another one of those weekends, and you encourage everybody to come in costume. Yeah, absolutely. So anyone who comes in Victorian costume gets half off admission, so that's wow. always fun. And what's great about Dickens is that truly everyone does participate. Um, there's lots of parades and events, and you really do feel like you're back in time. So it's one of my favorites personally, for sure. Now, Your Majesty, Queen Victoria, <laughs> What is your role in all of the festivities? Because I understand you are a very busy woman. Well, it's certainly my role because I oversee the entire festival. And we are delighted again this year to welcome three members of the Dickens family to our festival. So I'm delighted to, shall we say, visit a fellow countryman. <laughs> okay. I love Sounds it. Like now, is it true, though, that there are really 50 different events going on? That seems like an impossibly high number. Well, so that's a part of Galveston in general during the holiday season. There's 50 days um, of holiday festivities, um, and that includes everything from Dickens on the Strand to Festival of Lights at Moody Gardens to Iceland. And it's beautiful. Um, I mean, yeah, so we're seeing shots of last uh, year. Festival of Lights, um, also the holiday shows at the Grand 1894 Opera House. And so Dickens tends to be our most famous. Um, packed weekend because everyone loves this event, but there's stuff going on in Galveston the whole holiday season. Um, so if you don't have a chance to come this weekend, you can certainly come any other time uh, through the beginning of January. Now, this is a, a tried and true event, a very famous event for the island, but there's a few things that are new this year, including a little special showing, a movie, right? Right. So mm. Saturday night, we're going to do a showing of a Muppet Christmas Carol uh, there in Sangerfest Park, which you guys had on your screen a second ago. That'll be at 730 on Saturday night, so everyone gets to watch a famous Muppet uh, movie there before it's over. Now, some of these activities, though, are a little bit irreverent. And Your Majesty, I must ask you about the Victorian bed races. What, what Victorian that? bed races? <clears throat> Aren't people racing on beds being pushed down the street? I understand How does this some help? former colonists are uh, in, involved in that, but <laughs> Her Majesty <laughs> is not. Oh, I see. So you just you look the other way. <laughs> Uh, perhaps that's the way to say it, yeah. Okay, perfect. No, seriously, that sounds like a really fun event. Can anyone enter to do that? Anyone can enter. You can go to dickensonthestrand.org, and, and you have to provide your own bed and a team of five people. What? Uh, but it is a ton of fun. On <laughs> no <Sunday>. <laughs> way. <laughs> wow. Okay, so you got a bunch of beds on wheels, and people are literally racing it down the street. They are. You run halfway uh, down the course. You do a, a fire drill around it. A person takes off a uh, nightgown, changes it, and then does the second half of the race. Sounds like what I did last weekend. Um, so we're seeing some videos of the Queen's Parade right here. Oh, yes. And could you just sort of walk us through what we're seeing here, Your Majesty? Well, we're seeing a huge crowd, the Queen's Parade. I started with the bagpipers, our town crier. We have bagpipers, we have carriages carrying members of the Dickens family and other... Uh, oh, oh, balloon sword fights. Yes. That's cool. But now, uh, it's quite entertaining. It looks it. Now, Friday admission is free, by the way. But even, uh, even if you're coming on one of the non-free days, tickets start at, what, 13 bucks? Is that right? Advanced tickets are $13. Uh, they'll go to 15 the day of the event. Uh, you can get those online, Area Randalls, uh, or any of the historical foundations locations as well. Okay, perfect. Uh, we do have a way for people to get there. We're doing a little VIP giveaway. Yes, we are. Give us the details on that. Well, Will, do you want to talk about sure. that? Sure. Well, um, hopefully someone will uh, go home uh, before the event with a pair of tickets to the festival to our uh, another new event, the, Grand, uh, the Dickens Soiree at our 1892 Bishop's Palace. 
uh, tickets to our Salute to Sunset party uh, on the 1877 Tall Ship Alyssa, and then two seats and one of the carriages during uh, one of our parades. Oh, that's yeah. cool. Yeah, wow, that what a fun great. giveaway mm, for people. Yes. So if you do want to enter this, by the way, you've got to visit our Facebook page. Uh, if you haven't liked us yet, just search Houston Life TV. It'll pop right up. Over on the left-hand side, there's a contest tab, and just search for Dickens on the Strand. Uh, all those VIP tickets, that is great. Some lucky winner is going to have a fantastic weekend ahead. Absolutely. Now, when you're sitting, and whoever that winner is, when you're sitting in the carriage in the Queen's Parade, Your Majesty, what's the proper way to wave? Because <laughs> you are the expert. How do we oh, wave? The Queen's wave, yes. It's just simply very small, very, very elegant. Very small. Because after you do it for 30 minutes, it becomes rather tiring. Rather it seems tiring. Seems like a good workout. It's almost like you're screwing in a light bulb, you know, very gentle. <laughs> and you were telling me before the show when I came up to shake your hand, because it's been a full year since I've seen you, mm. that I should never, like, people just should never. not touch the oh, queen. No. Don't touch the queen. <laughs> right. No, you do, not, you do not touch the queen without her permission. Okay, so protocol then for people who are going to be out in Galveston uh, this weekend. You can approach the queen, but do not touch her. Don't try to shake her hand. Right? <laughs> <laughs> I'm the same way. I'm a total germaphobe. <laughs> um, no, I'm kidding. Thank you all for stopping by. Thank Will, Leah, Queen Victoria. It was nice to have you back. Thanks for having us. Yeah. Happy holidays to you. It'll be Thank a great so weekend much. in Galveston yes, for sure. It's a great event. And for more information on planning your weekend of fun, just check out dickensonthestrand.org. You can also log on to galveston.com slash holiday magic for more information on holiday events as well. All right. So coming up, Courtney. Giving Tuesday continues. Reliant employees have chosen three nonprofits for a chance to get this.